Hi everyone. So looks like the the afternoon session is working okay for everyone. And again, I I ninety five is still a mess. Oh geez, I heard something about that on the radio today, and I was thinking of you, Teresa Carpenter, because uh, you live kind of up in that neck of the woods. Um, yeah, and I do not miss driving through that area at all, at all, because it's always a mess. Anyway, uh, great report came in, well, not for the dog that it happened, but it, uh, a case study showed up in my inbox today, and I thought that we should discuss it because I do get questions about this particular drug being used, particularly for um, situations with anxiety. So when we're looking at New Year's Eve, Fourth of July, um, you know, any separation anxiety, any sort of anxiety, trip to the veterinarians, any sort of anxiety provoking situation for our pets. And um, there are a lot of alternative products that we use. We use flower essences, CBD, homeopathics, um, essential oils, uh, pheromones, all kinds of different things that we can use to try to decrease anxiety in our pets when we know that they are going to be faced with an anxiety provoking situation. But very commonly we have patients that we resort to medicating them because nothing seems to be strong enough uh, or work well enough to get these animals to that level of decreased anxiety where we need them to be for whatever it is that they're going to undergo. But this is a great um, case study that shows uh, what can happen. And this was in the Journal of Veterinary Emergical, um, Emergency and Critical Care. Um, so this is a case report of a six-year-old spayed crossbreed dog with suspected acute liver toxicity secondary to trazodone administration. Um, trazodone is a drug that is very commonly uh, handed out for or prescribed for anxiety in dogs. Um, and trazodone had previously been administered inter in intermittently for separation anxiety for the dog, uh, but the dog had an event of raisin, raisin ingestion, I can't talk, um, and it needed ongoing clinical evaluation, ongoing blood draws, recommendations for therapy. So uh, they were administering the trazodone on a fairly regular basis, at least five out of seven days. And um, trazodone is something that is sometimes given more than once a day. So this dog was repeatedly being given trazodone over about a seven day period. So initial treatment for the raisin ingestion included uh, it, uh, vomiting, get, getting the dog to vomit it up, uh, meropotent to then stop that, uh, activated charcoal to uh, absorb the toxins, hopefully, and giving the dog some sub-Q fluids. Blood work was rechecked 24, or 48 hours after presentation, and ALT, which is a liver enzyme, was elevated. Normal is up to 125, and it was 222. Four doses of trazodone had been given during that 48-hour period. So remember, that's two days, four doses were given, so they were giving it at least twice a day. Um, the dog was then hospitalized and treated with IV fluids to try to flush the system out better. Rechecked the ALT after another two days and the level had gone from 222 up to 668. And remember, our normal was up to 125. Because there were no clinical signs, the dog was not exhibiting signs of liver failure. It wasn't getting jaundiced or vomiting or having any issues. Uh, they discharged the dog on SAM-E, we talk about that quite often, and psilocybin, which is milk thistle, basically. Um, so the next day, they remeasured the ALT, and it went from 668 up to 712. Um, and then about three weeks after initial admission, the ALT was still elevated at about the same level. Uh, 712 went to 716. Um, GGT, which is another liver enzyme, mildly increased. They checked for leptospirosis, negative. Um, and four weeks after the dog was treated for the raisin ingestion, the ALT went from 716 up to 996 and the other liver enzymes, GGT, Alkfos, and AST were also elevated. So they did an abdominal ultrasound, which just showed some mild changes in the liver. They did bile acids testing, which is more specific for liver disease. It was elevated. Six weeks after presentation, 
So at four weeks, we the ALT was at 996. At six weeks, it was 1177. We're going the wrong way here, folks. Um, but the GGT and ALKFAS had come down slightly. So they did an ultrasound guided biopsy of the liver and um, it was non-specific. It showed damage that could be toxin exposure, a metabolic disorder, endocrine disease like Cushing's. Um, just, yeah, yeah, non-specific. Uh, the trazodone was discontinued because of concern for trazodone related hepatotoxicity, which is liver toxin. Um, it's rarely reported in human medicine. Two weeks after stopping the trazodone, so this dog over the six week period kept being given doses of trazodone. Uh, two weeks after they stopped, the liver enzymes were back to normal. So that's a pretty clear picture that trazodone was the inciting cause. Um, so this is what, these are our key pearls to put into practice because this is written for veterinarians. Clinicians should be vigilant when prescribing medications. You think? Um, although many drugs, for instance, phenobarbital, have known adverse effects that are typically monitored, rare events, including those reported in other species, may occur and warrant monitor monitoring. Routine laboratory evaluations for patients receiving medication on a long-term basis is recommended. Now, they say routine, but they don't say how often routine is. In my practice, that was every three months. In some practices, it's never. In a lot of practices, it's once a year. Um, me, I'd rather stay on top of it. If they had kept giving this dog trazodone and weren't rechecking those values, this dog would have been dead from its liver disease before they ever would have figured out they needed to stop the drug. Um, the dog in this report underwent liver biopsy. Although liver aspiration is easier to attain, interpretation may not always concur with histopathology findings. One study showed overall agreement between the biopsy where you actually go in abdominally and get a piece of the liver versus sticking a needle in and getting a few cells. Um, the overall agreement between those two kinds of biopsies was 30% in dogs and 50% in cats. So the fine needle aspirate, while it's uh, kinder and gentler on the animal, doesn't necessarily give you a, a, a great result when compared with a true biopsy. Um, and the third thing is trazodone has proven efficacy or you know works for many anxiety related scenarios in dogs. In this case, the patient's in hospital stress level was improved with trazodone. Another study also supports the use of trazodone to reduce stress related behaviors for hospitalized patients. The median number of stress related behaviors and frenetic and freeze behaviors were significantly lower in dogs treated with trazodone. But this just goes to show you that while there may be some good points to everything, there can be some bad points to pretty much everything. Um, and so it certainly is worth monitoring. Uh, you know, something where you, 4th of July, you, you have to give your dog a dose of trazodone. If it's a one-time event like that, spaced far apart, your chances of having an adverse reaction are very low. If, however, you have, for instance, a dog with thunderstorm anxiety and you're in thunderstorm, I mean, we had a thunderstorm yesterday. If you have a dog with thunderstorm anxiety and you are repeatedly using trazodone, you know, two, three, four times a week, I would strongly recommend that you are getting lab work checked on your pets if you are using any kind of medication um, for, uh, for your pets on a routine basis. So particularly for the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, Rimadyl, Deramax, Etagesic, uh, Meloxicam, any of those sorts of things, absolutely you need to be monitoring liver and kidney function. Um, <clears throat> so very, very important if your pet is on any long-term medications that you are monitoring to make sure that everything is uh, going the way it's supposed to be going. So that was our tidbit for today. Your dog had an ALT over 3,000, passed away three weeks after his first symptoms, did all kinds of tests with no aspirates. Uh, didn't do a biopsy because initially the blood wasn't clotting, which you can't, so then things seemed better and you held off. Uh, yeah, it, terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, definitely we have dogs that have reactions to heartworm medications, flea medications, any of that kind of stuff. Um, so anything that you're giving, uh, every pet is an individual. Your dog had a liver ALT over 800. They did nothing for her. Put her on liver happy and it came down. Thank you. 
uh, died of an angio. Still don't know what caused her liver issue. Uh, it's probably related. Probably related. So. Alright, everybody have a wonderful evening. Gotta feed donkeys.